right, let's go to my fade of the week here. Uh, I'm going to fade Arizona's defense against Colorado this week. And Colorado's on the road, Bear. And look, I, they, play, they play better than I thought they would this season, right? Close loss to Kansas State. But one mm-hmm. thing that they can do, and we know this, they can score points, right, Bear? And they, Travis Hunter, I think, is going to play. They said that Horn's going to play. But Colorado, in, in conference this year, 28 points against Kansas State, right? 48 against UCF. And 38 against Baylor, obviously, in overtime. But that was 24, 31 in regulation before overtime. And Arizona's defense is just not good right now. 31 points on to Kansas State. 28 to, t- to Texas Tech. 41 to BYU. They're, they're 73rd in points per drive. But here's the most important thing, Bear. When you play Colorado, okay, you have to hit the passer. If you don't hit the passer, Shadur is going to tear you up. Arizona cannot hit the passer, right? They have 11 sacks in, 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 in the season this year. They're 7th in Haverick. They're 113th in pressure rate. I asked a buddy of mine who covers Arizona, uh, how do they stop Shadur? They said, we have to blitz because we can't get pressure, and we have secondary injuries. Well, I, that's I, good. I, that's good. Not, good not, luck. Not great. Uh, so I like Colorado here over 27 and a half points um, at Arizona this weekend. I think they win the game outright, but I'll take the points here uh, in Colorado. I, I can certainly see that, and uh, Colorado might have gotten a little little screw last week. That was pass, that was pass interference, yes. That game, which was uh, disappointing to see, especially for our, uh, our Travis Hunter, Heisman Futures, so oh. we'll see what happens there. Mm. Uh, but time oh. now for our best bets presented by DraftKings Sportsbook. Uh, I'll kick it off, and I am just – this is purely a spot play, uh, a situational play, uh, Charlotte getting 17 against Navy. Uh, Charlotte's just frisky enough, I think, to be able to score some points. It's a big factor here. Navy undefeated. They got a big one with Notre Dame next up. Uh, a massive game in, in any uh, college football playoff hopes that they may have. Certainly hinge on them uh, beating Notre Dame uh, if they want to be the highest ranked five team. So maybe just a little bit of a look at here for the mids uh, against the Charlotte team that they should score enough points on, but at the same time, it's a pretty big number. So I'm going to take uh, Jeff's hometown team there, Charlotte, plus 17 against Navy. Does Biff Poggi wear a cutoff shirt, Barrett, or a regular coach's polo in this game? That should be a wager. Uh, I think he's going to respect the, the respect the Naval Academy and respect the environment. Uh, I think he'll go like regular coach shirt and, and not go cut off here in Annapolis. I agree. You, 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 you have to respect him. All right, Bear. My best bet presented by DraftKings. I'm a stubborn mule, buddy. I can't help myself. I'm taking Rutgers minus four and again oh. against UCLA. Oh, I, I look. I, I just oh. at some point UCLA has to stop covering these games. I'm going to read you some numbers for the Bruins. You ready? Okay. Uh, do you mean touchdowns they have this season, Bear? Just offensive touchdowns. Can you? Oh, can I think guess? I think it's like four. It's actually eight. It's four in the last four eight. games. So they're 132nd in the country in scoring, 119th in, 19th in yards per play, 118th on third down. Okay, on defense, it's worse. 134th in the country, 134 teams, third down defense. 120th in points per drive. Uh, I have a 101 in havoc rate. I get Rutgers Bear is kind of cooled off a little bit. They can't throw the football. They can't move the football uh, as well as they as they have in the past. But, I mean, 17-7, 21-7, 24-7. Like, I, I just... This is one of those two where you have a West Coast team going across multiple time zones to play a 9 a.m. local kickoff. Right, this was this game is at noon <coughs> Eastern. Bear, I I just can't quit fading UCLA, even though they're three zero and one their last four games against the spread with four off at the touchdowns. How are they getting to forty one in this game? I don't. Yeah, I think under UCLA is, yeah. play UCLA their play calling it's and bad. the way they run offense yeah. is is like to cover and keep the score down. Yes. Yes. They, they, that's what they did against Penn State. Yes, is that, like, absolutely. I mean, the Sean Foster how taking care of his po- alumni. How are they scoring points? Well, I, my forty-one. Yeah, yeah, that feels unlikely. If you look at in Rutgers too, like UCLA, they're saving grace right now. Is they don't allow a lot of explosive runs. And what does Rutgers want to do? Run the football, right? Which could open up the pass game. Now, Calamac is Cal is Cal. Oh, how Cal, do they Calimacus? not have a better option at quarterback than that kid? I refuse to believe it, that he's it, the best option it, they have at quarterback. It is frustrating this season it seems to really stick out like a sore thumb. A lot of teams are sort of not good bear, but like average, right? A little above average that have terrible quarterbacks. Like really, like if Rutgers had, shoot, I mean, I don't even know. Like if they even had Ethan Garbers from UCLA be their quarterback, they'd be a nine win team. But they, they're, so, they're so bad at quarterback, Bear. It's so bad. I hate backing them, but I can't quit fading UCLA. I just, 
they're not good. And they're due for that Indiana score, right? That 42 13 loss. They're due for that soon. Yeah, I just don't know if Rutgers is going to be able to put the. Uh, the I, I, it's score. scary. It's scary. I, I'm with you, but um, I'm I'm due for some. I think I was 0 2 last week. Um, I had a good start to college football season, but last week was was bad. Whew, yikes. Yeah. Bear Bets full episodes drop twice a week right here on the Bear Bets YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe to stay ahead of the odds and let's celebrate all of our wins together.